Hi, in this class we will continue our study of numbers and the next topic that we are going to see is known as prime factorization. So let's see what is prime factorization. Well, this phrase prime factorization has come from two words. The first of which is prime and the second of which is factorization. Now we know what factorization is. So factorization, when we talk about factorization, then it means that we are talking about writing a number. So factorization means writing a number as product of its factors. So if I have a number such as say 40, then I can write 40 as a product of its factors. I can write this in the manner 2 into 20. I can also write this as 4 into 10. I can also write this as 5 into 8 and so on. So I can write 40 as a product of factors in many such ways. Note that each of these numbers 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20 are called factors of 40. So these numbers 2 and 20 are called factors of 40. Similarly, 4 and 10 are also called factors of 40 and 5 and 8 are also factors of 40. So, we know what factors of a number are. So, writing a number as product of factors is factorization. However, here we have a term prime factorization. So, let us understand what is prime factorization. Well, if you look at a number 60, note that 60 can be written as 1 into 60. But further, this 60 can be split and I can write 60 as 1 into 2 into 30. So 60 can be written as 2 into 30. Similarly, I can write this 1 into 2 as I will retain them and then I can write 30 as 2 into 15. So every time I am writing a number as a product of its factors. So 1 cannot be further split. So I will retain this 1. 2 also will be retained. This 2 also cannot be split. So I will retain it. But this 15, this can be split into 3 into 5. And now notice that we have this expression which cannot further be split. So, here we have an expression which cannot further be split, that is every number here is indivisible. So, if I look at dividing 1 by any other number other than 1, then I will see that 1 cannot be divided by any other number but 1. Similarly, 2 can only be divided by 1 and 2 and 3 can only be divided by 1 and 3. Similarly, 5 can only be divided by 1 and 5 itself. So, we have numbers here that all can be divided only by 1 and that same number, which means that these numbers that I have obtained 1, 2, 2, 3 and 5 are all prime numbers. So we've now understood what are prime numbers. So we'll now write down prime numbers. Note that numbers that cannot be further expressed as a product of two smaller factors are called prime numbers. So if we make a list of prime numbers, we can get the number 2. Note that when we talk about prime numbers, we always exclude 1 from the list. So 2 is not a prime number. So we can say that 2 is a prime number. Similarly, 3 is also a prime number, 5 is also a prime number and if you continue, you will find many more prime numbers like this. So, now we are trying to understand prime factorization and so this example of prime numbers will suffice. Next, the term that we are going to see is prime factorization of given number and so suppose we are given a number say 60, then I can write 60 in any of these ways. I can write 60 as a product of these two factors or I can write 60 as a product of these three factors or I can write it as a product of these four factors and so on. But note that in this case 40 can be further factored into smaller number or rather 60 can be further factored into smaller number. Similarly here 30 can be factored into smaller number and here 15 can be factored into smaller number. But note that here in the final equation none of these numbers can be factored into smaller numbers and so we can say that this gives us the prime factorization of 60. So, prime factorization means whenever we express a given number as a product of prime factors, then we say that we have done prime factorization of that number. So, for instance, if you want to write prime factors of 60, you can write 60 as 2 into because 1 is understood, so it need not be written. So, we can write 60 as 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. And so, this gives us the prime factorization of 60. In a similar way, you can find the prime factorization of any other number if that is small enough and so if you let's now take an example of another number let's take the number 540 and let's try to find the prime factorization of this number well first we will always start with the smallest prime number which is 2 and 2 is always the smallest prime number so we will start dividing by 2 and 2 540 divided by 2 gives us the quotient 270 and leaves the remainder 0 
नेक्स्ट वी डिवाइड टू सेवेंटी बाय स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर स्मॉलेस्ट प्राइम नंबर टू एंड वेन यू डिवाइड टू सेवेंटी बाई टू यू गेट अ वन थर्टी फाइव एज द क्वेश्चन एंड जीरो एज द रिमाइंडर नेक्स्ट थिंग यू डू इज लुक एट दिस नंबर वन थर्टी फाइव नाउ टू डज नॉट डिवाइड दिस नंबर बिकॉज दिस इज एन ऑड नंबर सो वी लुक एट द नेक्स्ट लार्ज प्राइम नंबर विच इज थ्री Now three can divide one thirty five, and so I get here the quotient three four is a twelve and three five is a fifteen. So I get forty five here. So when I divide one thirty five by three, I get the quotient forty five, and I get the remainder zero. Again, looking at forty five, I can further divide this by three, which gives me fifteen three is a forty five, and so here I get a fifteen, which can further be divided by three, which gives me a five here, and this five cannot be divided by three. So we looked at the next higher prime number. The next number is four, but we want only prime number, so we'll look at the next higher prime that is. Five. So after three comes five. So we look at five, and five does divide itself, giving the remainder zero and quotient one. So now I have written five forty by successively dividing it by the next smallest prime number, and so I can now write five forty as a product of these factors. That is two, two, three, 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 and five. And so I can now finally write five forty is equal to this two multiplied by this two multiplied by this three multiplied by this three. Then this three and finally a five, and so I can write five forty as a product of these factors. And note that because each of these factors cannot further be divided into smaller factors, we can say that these are all prime factors of six five forty, and so we have obtained prime factorization of this number pretty easily.